uh, in this video we will derive the relation between the angle of twist and shear stress okay so the angle of twist and shear stress will comes into picture when an object or when the shaft is subjected to the torsion okay or twisting moment or twisting couple or it is subjected to torque okay so in the previous video i just explained uh, i just defined what you mean by angle of twist and uh, what you mean by shear strain okay so i discussed so now we will derive the relation between these two here shear stress and the angle of twist for that first we need to consider a solid shaft that is circular shaft okay so here i consider a circular shaft it is the circular cross section here and its length is l its length is l and one end is fixed and other end is free okay so before applying the torque this is the condition of the shaft here just i'll write consider a circular shaft of length l length l and radius r radius r so this is the radius of the circular bar and the length is here okay next point it is subject uh, it is, uh, what is the condition the one end of the bar is one end of the shaft rigidly fixed and other end is free is free okay so now in this condition now we will apply the torque torque t or we will apply the torsional moment here okay the next point point is apply torque t where we need to apply at the free end okay torque t at the free end of the shaft as shown in figure okay as shown in figure here so before applying the we need to consider a longitudinal the line we have in the previous video i discussed uh, the longitudinal line and the circumferential lines here the before applying the torque the one of the longitudinal i considered as the ab ab and after applying the torque the ab is shifted to new position ab dash okay ab dash let next one let ab b the longitudinal line before applying torque before applying torque okay so this is ab what what do you mean by longitudinal line the longitudinal line is the the line which is parallel to the longitudinal axis so after applying the torque after torque t after applying torque t come on the ab is shifted to new position ab is shifted to new position new position ab dash ab dash a is fixed okay a won't change only b the position b shifting from its b to b dash here okay if you see in the side view in the end view so this is the front view and if you see the side view here the line if it is changing if it is this point this is fixed and this is changing from this point to this point obviously in the circular this is related to here so if this line is related to here this is also this point also it is shifting here 
this point also it is shifting from this position to this position here okay so we need to consider the end view also we need to consider the front view also okay in the front view this ab is shifted from ab to ab dash by an angle of gamma in the end view the line ob this is ob is initial initial view ob is shifted from its position ob to ob dash by an angle of theta by an angle of theta here okay so now the from figure from figure so here i will consider the trigonometric equation tan of gamma this is tan of gamma what is tan of gamma here the b b dash divided by length here right so opposite by adjacent side here that is b b dash divided by length so since the tan of gamma is very small since tan of gamma is very small sorry since gamma is very small the tan of gamma is nearly equal to gamma here okay so gamma angle is it is very small so tan of gamma is almost equal to gamma okay so this is is nothing but shear strain shear strain in my previous video i i dis, i explain what you mean by shear strain okay shear strain and we can consider the angle that uh, tan of gamma is is nearly equal to gamma since the gamma is very small here okay so that the same concept i applied here therefore what happens the above equation therefore gamma equal to b b dash divided by l right b b dash divided by l so from this b b dash equal to gamma into l right gamma into l this is front view now come to the end view here in terms of theta in terms of theta is angle of twist okay so also from also from here b b dash what do you mean by b b dash that is r into theta right r into theta also b b dash equal to r into theta right r into theta where theta is theta equal to angle of twist angle of twist okay this is front view this is side view now from these two equation i can equate okay therefore gamma into l equal to r into theta r into theta here right therefore gamma that is shear strain equal to r into theta divided by l r into theta divided by l i want to derive the relation between the angle of twist and the shear strain here angle of twist is there theta and shear stress but here shear strain is there again i need to the move further here okay so this is one so in general just from this equation i i need to conclude the one statement that is this side right here gamma equal to r into theta divided by l right where what is r r is the radius of the bar so for radius x normal any anywhere radius x for radius x or radial distance x i can write gamma equal to x into theta divided by l right anywhere in the radius so from this equation i want to conclude that the gamma or shear strain shear strain is directly proportional to the radial distance between from the center to the end here can i say right uh, I, i can say that the shear strain is directly proportional to the radial distance from the center to the end of the shaft here therefore from above equation 
it is clear that it is clear that shear strain shear strain that is gamma is directly proportional to that is gamma is directly proportional to the radial distance radial distance from center to end center to end center to end here okay so how about the stress distribution here so therefore the stress distribution here uh, stress or strain distribution in the center it is zero as it will goes the outside the it is maximum that i can conclude therefore the strain at center is zero at center is zero and at outside it is maximum it is maximum this is very important at the center here it is zero and it will be here right more more and more it is at the outside it is totally maximum here okay so this is one we can conclude here now further if you move this is one of the relation this i'll call it as this is a this is equation a now we have the relation between stress shear stress and shear strain okay so what is the relation between shear stress and shear strain from hooke's law from hooke's law hooke's law g that is g equal to modulus of rigidity modulus of rigidity equal to shear stress by shear strain this we studied in the uh, previous videos the we derived the uh, relation also okay so this i can write g modulus of rigidity equal to shear stress i denoted by tau and shear strain is gamma is gamma here okay so now we know the gamma value here right here substitute this value here that is from a from equation a from a g equal to shear stress tau divided by gamma is r theta divided by l right r theta divided by l here therefore so g equal to uh, tau by 1 into l divided by r theta right therefore tau by r from this equation tau by r equal to tau by r equal to g theta divided by n right g theta divided by n so this is the relation between angle of twist angle of twist is theta and shear stress this is the shear stress okay so tau by r equal to g theta by l just i'll explain the terms here tau is shear stress r is radius of the shaft g is modulus of rigidity theta is angle of twist and l is the length of the bar here okay this is how we need to derive the relation between angle of twist and the shear stress okay